Chicago has such a rich tradition of visual merchandising and lavish displays, starting at Marshall Field and Company on North State, now Macy's on State. And one of the hallmarks of any great display or production is to keep people waiting for more. And that's exactly what Chip is doing. <laughs> we're still waiting for him to complete his window. But while we're waiting for him, we'll take a look at the rest of this year's entries. Welcome. Welcome to Project Windows. I'm Stanley Smith. This year, Project Windows was inspired by Van Gogh and the avant-garde, The Modern Landscape, now showing at the Art Institute of Chicago. And here we've got Marshall Pearson Company on North Michigan Avenue with a smokestack-inspired theme and a small village and lavish jewels. At the Blackstone on South Michigan Avenue, we have the pairing of a local emerging artist with the uh, story of the rich tradition of art collecting at the Blackstone Hotel, starting with resident Annie Swan Colburn, who was a collector of fine European 19th century works, which were later donated to the Art Institute of Chicago. At the Drake Hotel at North Michigan Avenue, related to the Blackstone through the Tracy brothers, Drake brothers, Tracy Drake, um, celebrating art and industry with this, uh, this fun display inspired by Van Gogh in the avant-garde. Uh, the Fine Arts Building at 410 South Michigan Avenue, artist Robin Malpas was inspired by Van Gogh to create her own mini art experience on the second floor gallery at the Fine Arts Building with uh, Van Gogh face stamps, uh, embossed stamps onto canvas, and then surrounded by kind of a Mandela effect of, of all the colors uh, used in the, in the current show. So if you can't, can't get into the um, Art Institute, uh, at a particular time, you can come over to the Fine Arts Building and enjoy a Van Gogh-inspired experience. Thanks, Robin. At Water Tower Place on North Michigan Avenue, uh, artist Anne Latinovich created a Van Gogh-inspired display. And this, this is kind of a new emerging uh, genre for Project Windows. Artists being inspired by other artists to create art, which I guess if you're an artist is not a new phenomenon. But for those of us who are facilitating the contest, it's it's kind of rather new to us. And I guess that's the fun of discovering avant-garde. Anne created um, art featuring almost every flower she could find that Van Gogh ever painted. And then she wrote him a little love letter to go with it all. Also at Water Tower Place, Strides by Miana created a fun uh, Go Fly a Van Gogh kite theme with um, bright spring and summer merchandise. AT&T. Uh, North Michigan Avenue created a interactive, immersive Van Gogh experience for customers with art and video and interactive displays to delight customers at AT&T on North Michigan Avenue. The Berghoff Restaurant on Adams Street, just a few blocks, a couple blocks from the Art Institute, celebrating its 125th anniversary with a, kind of a out of the frying pan into the art exhibit display using implements from the restaurant business, each transformed into a Van Gogh inspired work of art. 320 South Michigan Avenue. This is a storefront featuring kind of the trade of the area, a restaurant and wares transformed and highlighted by the Van Gogh theme. Chicago Tea, Ho Tea House on North State Parkway. Agnes and her team created some Van Gogh inspired teas and these very lavish displays to delight customers at Chicago Tea House. Tauscher Chocolates at 900 North Michigan Avenue on the fifth floor. Sanjay Taylor created a stroll in the park with these fun little, these actually are candy boxes, these little ladies um, mimicking the woman in the garden. And the little stone path is patches of grass and, and paving stones of chocolate. If, uh, that's, if that walk in the park isn't sweet enough, you'll have to visit. Tauscher Chocolates. Giardelli at the Wrigley Building at 400 North Michigan Avenue, featuring a display uh, with a painting by artist Patrice Olson, who was also inspired by Van Gogh to create a painting of the Jackson Park Lagoon from historic postcards. Galan Styling for Men at 900 North Michigan Avenue. This was kind of fun talking to these people because they said that sometimes you need a you need to mess with people, especially men, to get them to try something new. And this was a fun juxtaposition of different sizes and scale and proportions, uh, all inspired by 
Van Gogh at Galan, 900 North Michigan Avenue, also on the fifth floor. Artist Dee Broadlow created this Van Gogh inspired display at Leonidas Chocolate Shop on Chicago Avenue, just steps from the Water Tower Monument. And uh, Dee said that as she was setting up the display, she had people coming in who had just, had just been to the exhibit at the Art Institute, and they were delighted to see that um, kind of validated their, uh, their decision to come for coffee and a sweet treat after seeing Van Gogh. Russian Tea Time literally just steps from the front door of the Art Institute on Adams Street. Great place for Sunday brunch and afternoon tea and dinner, uh, featuring portraits and paintings of Van Gogh. It was kind of an inside outside scene for people inside the restaurant to enjoy and also for people seated outdoors at the outdoor cafe this summer. Artist, uh, display artist Ray Terrigan uh, jumped in to help us out with a couple storefronts in the Northbridge district. And this is one on Ohio Street. It's kind of a Van Gogh to go shopping theme. Ray was pretty confident that he could visit stores and and find a great collection of shopping bags. And, and he was right. I wasn't even sure if people had shopping bags anymore, but he found a great collection. Uh, and it was fun visiting the stores for Ray and uh, made for a colorful, simple, dynamic display for Shops of Northbridge. Also at Shops of Northbridge, art again, artist Dee Broadlow created this a Van Gogh pace car inspired display from the NASCAR event this summer. And she's got a ready set Van Gogh theme on Grand as part of the Shops at Northbridge complex. Artist Elijah Harris created a walk in the park garment uh, jacket with grass and little scenes of uh, country along with an environment, created an environment with dramatic lighting on Grand Avenue, just below the Nordstrom's department store in Shops at Northbridge uh, to celebrate Van Gogh, the avant-garde pushing the envelope a little bit, the modern landscape. Everything's Relative Hair Salon in the Beverly neighborhood. A pretty regular participant this year, they created an inside-outside garden experience for customers inside the store and arts outside the store, all inspired by Van Gogh, the modern landscape. Cakewalk, also in the Beverly neighborhood, created a get on a bus window display featuring Lots of different artists, Salvador Dali and Frito Kahlo and uh, Bescott. Other artists from other periods jumping on the Van Gogh bus, all inspired by Van Gogh. The Yoga Six in the Hyde Park neighborhood rolled out the yoga mat. Each mat has a different painting from the show so people can enjoy their yoga and an art experience at the same time at Yoga Six in Hyde Park. Color Me Bad, uh, they're at their new location in Oak Park. Their original location still open in Hyde Park, Hyde Park is now complemented by the second location. Color Me Bad specializes in uh, dramatic hair color, textures and weavings. And uh, this is a fun lampshade display, which uh, tells the story to new customers in the Oak Park neighborhood. And then of course, Murr's Pock Theory in the Lincoln Lincoln Square, Lakeview area. MERS is a regular participant. Artist Grace Ann Watkins created this uh, fun floral and bike uh, display for every healing and luxury remedy you might be looking for. All these displays are on, uh, on display right now for um, Project Windows. Uh, public voting is also in progress until the end of July and professional judges will be out starting in mid-July until the uh, awards party on Thursday, Jan um, August 10th um, at the Art Institute. So if you're looking to get your votes in, you have, you have plenty of time between now and the end of July. And if you'd like to join us at the awards party of the Art Institute, I will include my email in the description of this video and I'll be happy to send you an invitation. As always, Project Windows is um, Terrific opportunity, a free opportunity for people to engage and to participate and delight uh, the community and customers and celebrate art and culture here in Chicago. Next year, the theme will be, um, it'll be the skyscrapers of Georgia O'Keeffe. And it's never too soon to start planning now for next year's entries. Uh, I look forward to seeing you at the awards party. And if I can be of any help connecting dots, directing you to Instagram, 
or facilitating vote voting, I look forward to doing so.